coffee. Getting ready to make breakfast. James is over here eating. Right. <laughs> Today for breakfast, we're gonna have eggs on half a piece of ciabatta toast because it's high in points, but also that's what I have left. Today is my first day with 23 points. If you remember, I had 41 because I was breastfeeding. Technically, I wasn't breastfeeding, I was exclusively pumping, um, but it's the same thing. Your body still is burning calories. I'm weaning off of pumping, I'm like almost done. I'm gonna go down to the 23 a day, which is a huge adjustment, so. Hopefully today goes good because I don't have planned out what I'm going to eat. That's when I'm most successful is when I plan out the day before my day and adjust it. Today I'm going in blind, so wish me luck. James is down for a nap, so I want to take this time to show you guys some of the stuff that I was lucky enough to be gifted from Yvette. I've always heard of Yvette, so when they reached out, I was extremely excited to be able to pick some pieces to try out. I was a little worried, I'm not going to lie, because I did not measure or anything. I just picked a size, I picked extra large, and I hoped for the best, and luckily, I tried everything on already and everything fits perfectly. If I was just buying something at the store, I'd probably get an extra large, depending on what it is. But if I was getting leggings, it would either be a large or an extra large. So I went with extra large and I'm glad they did. If I would have gotten large and everything, the sports bras would have been too tight and the leggings would have definitely been way too tight. Everything honestly is perfect. I have four different pieces to show you. First off, I want to say their packaging is very cute. I'm loving it. They all come in a separate little bag, which I love. The first thing that I have on is this sports bra. The Shift Square Neck Cutout Long Line Padded Yoga Bra. This one is light support, which I love. Um, it has a cutout. I'll show you in the other mirror. That'll be a lot easier. You can see on the front, it says Yvette. You can see in the back that it has a cutout right here. It's truly so comfortable, so comfortable. And like I said, it is lightweight support, which I prefer because I really don't need that much support. I'm hoping that having these new pieces will inspire me to get down to the basement and work out because I need to start doing that. Even if I'm just walking, that will be a plus. I do miss walking. Let me go get the rest of the stuff and I'll move to that mirror. These are the high waist sculpting leggings. These are high support. They definitely suck you in here, which is nice. They're a great length for me. I'm 5'3", so I think if you're taller than me, maybe they might be a little, a little short. They have the pockets, which is nice. I decided to get three sports bras and just try out one pair of leggings, mainly because I will wear sports bras all the time, even if I'm not working out. Especially now that I'm transitioning from wearing nursing bras every day for the past, oh my gosh, over a year, because I started wearing them when I got pregnant. Well, not right away, but eventually once I started growing, I just figured, I didn't know how the leggings were gonna fit. I figured I'd have, a, have better luck definitely with the sports bras. Um, so I figured I'd get a good amount of those so that I have them because I actually only have a few sports bras. Let me show you the rest of the sports bras that I picked. Please ignore the deodorant stain that I just got on here putting this on, but I absolutely love this one so much. Um, you probably cannot tell on the camera, but the texture of this is so nice. It is so soft. It's also a lightweight sports bra. This one is called the Echo Cutout Racerback Longline Sports Bra, and it has the cutout in the back. I love it. It has this little, this little um, pocket right here. I guess for your key, if you went like running outside, how cute. Um, I probably, I probably won't need that function, but that's okay. My goal is to be able by this coming summer to wear this type of long line sports bra outside with nothing over it and feel confident. I love this one. 
I love this one. I love it. This is the last one that I got. This one is not a long line and it's also high support. I figured I might as well get a high support one. This is called the Shift Logo Band Racer Bag Padded Running Bra. Here is what the back looks like, giving me like Tommy Hilfiger vibes like back in the day. Even though it's high support, it's still very comfortable and it is so incredibly soft. So that is all the pieces that I got from Yvette. I will link them all down below in the description and you can use Tina15 to receive 15% off of your order. Not as much deodorant on the first one, but a whole bunch on this one. So I think I'm gonna cut the tags off and just put it on. I'll wear both. Maybe I'll put like, no, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe I'll put a like flannel over it and wear this and the legging, but like have something over me, I don't know. I don't think I'm confident enough. I've got too much. I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned they're all padded. They're not removable. And I don't know if this is like a, <laughs> like a hot take, but I'm glad they're not removable. I don't, I think people would rather be able to remove the padding, but as long as it, when I wash it, if it doesn't like curl up and I have, which I don't think it will because it's not loose inside. It's like sewn inside. So that makes me happy because I feel like it looks good with the padding. You know, when you get like a sports bra and it has padding that is removable and then it gets all bunchy and you can't ever get it right. And sometimes you just end up taking it out because it's annoying. I'm glad that this one is sewn in like that. So I guess it will not get that way. I think, I don't know. Well. We'll see. Yes. Yeah, so once again, head to Yvette, check out all these pieces. I left the specific ones that I got in the description and you can use Tina 15 for 15% off. I'm gonna put all this stuff away, but I am going to have a light string cheese. I think that these Frigo cheese heads are the best tasting light string cheeses. Let me know if you agree. James is actually still sleeping. When he wakes up, it's 1220 right now. I'm going to go to Target with him. Um, we need to get baby wipes and I need to get like a few like uh, grocery things. For lunch, I should probably just make lunch right now while he's sleeping. Let me open my Weight Watchers app right now and see like where I'm at. Breakfast worked out to be seven points. That French vanilla creamer is actually from Aldi and it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's one point for up to three tablespoons. So that's pretty good. Uh, so I'll probably maybe get, the, actually I'm going to Target, so I probably won't get that again, but I will get it again in the future. Actually, maybe I should go to Aldi because Bobby is almost out of protein bars. Side note, if you like protein bars, I do like them, but I'm very picky. I actually haven't tasted the Aldi ones, but I don't think I'll like them because me and Bobby have very different tastes on protein. I don't like the taste of protein at all. I feel like the only bars that I like are the Bear Bell bars. I don't feel like those taste like protein at all, but other bars I feel have this very strong protein taste. But anyway, if you're not that picky, try out the protein bars at Aldi because they are very affordable. They're like $7.96 or something like that a box. You, you get six in a box. That is probably the cheapest that I found for protein bars. Try those out because Bobby loves them. He says that they're better. He thinks that they're the best protein bar he's had, I think he said so. And that's a lot because he's had a lot of different brands. Sorry that I'm rambling back to what we're talking about here. Right now, I have my breakfast tracked. I have dinner half tracked. It's gonna be some sort of taco scenario. I put in that I would have three ounces. I'm gonna use ground chicken and probably the mission, the zero carb tortillas for three points is three of them. Dinner will be more than that because I'll need to use like some sour cream, some cheese, things like that. See, wow, this is what I'm saying. I have nine points left for the day. Lunch isn't tracked, no other snacks are tracked and only half of dinner is tracked. So. I mean, I don't even know where I'm gonna get these points from. I need to really plan out my days better. What I used to do was the night before, I would plan out my day of what I was gonna eat. And that was great because I was set up for the next day. I knew what I was doing. I didn't last minute make any mistakes and choose something bad, you know what I mean? I didn't go over because I had my day all planned out. That's what I need to get back to. I hope I don't go over. I might, I don't know. I don't know what to have for lunch. I mean, what could a zero point lunch be? I already had eggs. All right, we'll figure this out. I'm gonna go look and see what would be a good low point lunch option. Maybe I could try and get that done and 
eaten before we go. Wish me luck. I'm gonna have some tuna fish. I haven't had tuna fish in so long. And I'm gonna use some light mayo. And I'm gonna put it on some 647 bread. So, side note, uh, I use the Huckleberry app to track all of James's stuff, like when he eats, his medicine, his diapers, all that, his naps. And every single time I go to log something for WW, I click into the Huckleberry app. The first snack, I'm gonna cut up an apple. Actually, I was looking on the Weight Watchers app last night and I saw an apple cut up like french fries and it was dipped in like a like greek yogurt pb2 type scenario i just like the idea of having my apples shaped like this how cute adorable are you so cute i just got home i'll show you real quick what i got i got some iced coffee these are the zero carb tortillas so good one point each i had to get this small thing of taco seasoning usually i get like the big jug but they didn't have it i got some tzatziki yogurt dip to keep in the fridge it's really good on points too some brownie batter dessert hummus I've had this before it's really good i forgot to buy something to dip into it but some greek whole milk yogurt bobby will eat this and the baby's been eating it too and then i got some light and fit greek which i'm gonna have right now these are two points each and i I need one. The last thing was a zero sugar coffee meat, the French vanilla. I only got this one because it was the best in points. I noticed that the International Delight is actually more, more points. And then the only other thing I got was a Christmas tree for his room. You need a Christmas tree? Do you need a Christmas tree for your room? <laughs> so tonight for dinner, I am making some ground chicken. This is 92% lean, 8% fat. <laughs> Are you crawling this way? Are you crawling to mama? Oh, I know what you're going for. The dog bowls. And then when I pick it up, he's going to go that way to the other dog bowl. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you don't touch. No touch. No touch. And do not eat that. You want some yogurt? Sorry, I already picked it up. See, he's on his way to the other dog bowl. <laughs> you so silly. So anyway, I have this ground chicken. It is, I think three points for three ounces and I'll put like one ounce in each taco. James is sleeping, kitchen is clean, which I love. Today, I started dinner so early. Uh, we ate at like five something. That was amazing because I was able to clean the kitchen and clean all the baby bottles and everything before James went to bed. So I'm already over on point. Put on that street corn dip. I accidentally meant to put half of, a ser half of the serving size, which is one tablespoon but I was doing it in grams and the serving size on it says two, but in my mind I was thinking it was one. So I ended up using four points and I have to have dessert. Like I just, I have to. So I am going over. I mean, that's okay because that's what the weeklies are for, right? I'm just going to have to kind of adjust. I think usually what I would do is not use my weeklies this is what I used to do. I wouldn't use my weeklies at all during the week and I would like have a cheat day like all day one day and just not count anything and whatever. I think maybe I'm gonna have to 
for at least a little bit use my weeklies here and there because jumping going from 41 to 23 that was very hard today kind of shows me how bad i've been eating today was a learning day today was definitely a lesson learned it was hard not i also don't have that many groceries i will go grocery shopping this weekend with everything in mind knowing i'm only getting 23 points a day i uh, set myself up for success today was not that enjoyable of a day of eating i'm not gonna lie i wasn't a fan of the lunch breakfast was really good um but again i used way too many points on breakfast and that's kind of what made my day go blah, blah, blah. with that being said i went over i went over 10 points that's so bad 10 points and really it would have only been three if i didn't just use seven points on dessert literally i'm just see that's a thing i didn't have a good day of eating i don't feel satiated like i i, I want more you know what i'm saying so here's what i'm having seven points but it's not that bad okay i'm having two graham crackers and then i'm having this the chocolate hummus that i just bought at target i've had this before but I didn't remember how good it is. It does not taste like hummus. It, I mean, I love hummus, but it tastes like brownie batter or chocolate cake batter. Well, it is called brownie batter, so duh, but it really does. You need to try it. Let me know if you have any ideas. I guess strawberries would be good to dip in there. I just, I hate buying strawberries because I'm not joking. Every time I buy strawberries or blueberries or any type of berry, they go bad so quick and I can never eat them quick enough and it's so aggravating. I will end this here. I'm gonna go downstairs, do my switch over of laundry, and then I'm gonna fold my laundry and take a shower and get ready for bed. Don't forget to check out Yvette. And again, if you wanna use my coupon code, it is Tina15 for 15% off. I will see you guys next time. Bye.